Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video lesson about exploring circles. All right, so first of all, just what is a circle? A circle consists of all the points that are the same distance away from a, a particular point called the center of the circle. So here we have a circle, and notice we have a dot. This represents the center, and every single point on the circle is the exact same distance away from the center. So let's say from here to here was say, I don't know, two inches. That means from here to here would be two inches. And then from here to here would also be two inches. In fact, every single point right on the circle is the exact same distance away from the center. All right, next term is called the radius. A segment that connects the center of the circle with any point on the circle is called the radius. So again, the, the distance from the center of the circle directly to the side of the circle like this, that's called the radius. Now the diameter, a segment that connects two opposite points on a circle passing through the center uh, circle center is called the diameter. So here we have a circle and notice how this line goes right through the center of the circle. Okay, that's the diameter. Let me draw another one. Uh, it could be say from here going straight down through the center. One thing to remember about the, the, the diameter as well is that if you have two radiuses, that equals the diameter, right? So here's a radius and here's a radius. So twice the radius equals the diameter. All right, now circumference. Circumference is just the distance around a circle, all right? So starting here, going all the way around, right? That distance is called the circumference. Another term is called the chord. A line segment connecting any two points on the circumference, that's what a chord is. So chords do not need uh, to go through the center of the circle. So notice uh, this is called chord AB because point A starts on this side of the circle and goes all the way to the other end of the circle, but doesn't necessarily go through the center. So let me draw another chord. Uh, another chord could be, say, from point here over to this side over here like this. All right. Now, one important fact. It, the diameter of a circle, which goes through the, the center, right, technically is a chord. All right. Uh, but chords don't have to necessarily go through the center like, like the diameter does. All right, so let's check your knowledge about this. So it says identify the parts of a circle. So we know that the center point is point P right here. So we'll say point P. All right, now remember the radius is a segment from the center of the circle to the outside of the circle. So we could say uh, PL is one radius. Okay, we could say uh, PN is another radius. We also could say PM is another radius. All right, now remember the diameter, all right, is a line that goes from one side to the other side that goes directly through the center. So here, let me use different color. All right. Here, the diameter would go from here all the way across, right? So the name of the diameter would be M and then N. And that's the only diameter that we have, okay? And finally, for chords, okay, we have several, all right? For chord, we have, uh, again, let me use different color. We have QR. as well as, uh, we also have the diameter, right? Which is M, N. Like that.